Can I Be Your Dog by Troy Cummings. I like checking out the back. Can one of Arfie's letters help him find a home on Butternut Street? There's the dog with a letter in his mouth. Can I be your dog? Oh, can I be your dog? Love that question mark. Oh, first graders. Remember, we always look at the papers in the beginning. Uh, there's stamps, postage stamps for when you use the post office and paper mail. Some people call it snail mail. Uh, oh my gosh, it's all fun dog stuff. A bone, dog food, a hydrant, a stick, a house, a tree, air mail, a squirrel, wagon tail, a sock. Oh, this is, this is nice. Let's see what else we got. Can I be your dog? Here's the dedication to the real Arfie. This is the, you know what it is. You know, it's the title page, title, author, publisher. Dear people at Yellow House, Wolf, can I be your dog? I am potty trained and I have my own squeaky bone. Also, I love to play. I see you have a cat, but I'm willing to work with you. Who's a good dog? I am. Sincerely, Arfie. P.S. I know every house on Butternut Street, but I asked you first. Oh. And look, here's the yellow house. There's a girl and a boy and another boy. There's kids playing in the backyard. There's the letter carrier. It's a, it's a woman. Here's the reply. Dear Arfie, we're so sorry, but you cannot be our dog. Our cat, our cat is um, allergic to dogs. Good luck in your search. The Honeywells. Oh, look at, look at that. Arfie is sad. <sighs> Keep on moving on. Dear Butcher Lady, can I be your dog? I think your butcher shop would be a great place for a puppy like me. I could keep the floor nice and clean. And there's his paw print signature, Urfi. Look who keeps delivering the mail. Oh, ooh, I like the name, Chop Chop. And there is a lady running the butcher shop. Uh-oh, here's the reply. Look, pal. I've got a bone to pick with you. Last time I let a dog into my shop, a dozen meatballs went missing. Sorry, but there's no way I'm taking in a pooch. Veronica Shank, butcher. P.S. No hard feelings. Enjoy these dry giblets and good luck finding a home. There's like a little Ziploc bag full of giblets. Oh, nom, 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 nom. There's Arfie eating. Oh, we're somewhere different. Dear fire station number five, can I be your dog? I can fetch your boots. Plus, let's just say I know my way around a fire hydrant. I've sniffed out every single one on Butternut Street and yours is the shiniest, Arfie. Look, it's Butternut Fire Department. Oh, I see somebody already in the window though. Hmm. Oh, here's a letter back from the Butternut Street Fire Station. Dear applicant, thank you for your interest in working with the Butternut, fire, Butternut Street Fire Station. Unfortunately, the position of fire dog has already been filled. We will keep your letter on file. Best wishes in your search, station number five. Uh-oh, uh-oh, there's some shenanigans. Look, I don't even wanna say. The letters by the fire hydrant, you know what dogs do at fire hydrants. My goodness. Someplace less. Some someplace someplace new. Dear junkyard guy, I'm not gonna lie. You're my next to last choice. But these past few days have been rough. Rough, rough, rough. So please, can I be your dog? I don't eat much and I can bark if people try to steal your junk and stuff. Hopefully yours, Arfie. Look, here's the butternut dump. Ooh, 
This guy looks what? What do you think? Does he look friendly? Does he look nice? He looks a little grumpy. <gasps> Dear mutt, get lost. Get lost. Oh, there's an exclamation. That's how they ended that. Uh-oh. Look what Arfie's doing. He's digging and he's gonna bury that letter. There's already a bone buried, a ball, a shoe, different stuff. Uh-oh. Dear last house on Butternut Street, can I be your dog? I see that your yard is full of weeds and your windows are broken and there's a funny smell, but I'm not picky, just lonely, Arfy. Look at that. That house does look a little interesting, scary. I don't know, it might just be um, boarded up like nobody lives there anymore. Oh no, the letter went back. Return to sender, nobody at this address. Arfy, soggy box in the alley. Oh, it wasn't even opened, it was just marked return. <gasps> oh no. Oh, looks sad. Oh, it's raining. It's raining and Arfie is gonna go get in his box. <sighs> I hope he gets a family. You wanna make a prediction? Do you think he will? I don't know. Goodness, I hope so. So look, there he is sleeping in his box. Oh, now the sun came out. Look, there's a letter on his box. It says to Arfi, look. Dear Arfi, can I be your person? I need a friend who will be with me no matter what. Snow, rain, heat, or gloom of night. And I see that you already know everyone on Butternut Street. I know you'll make a first class partner. With hugs and head scratches, Mitzi Whipple, letter carrier. P.S. If you agree, meet me at the big blue mailbox. He's smiling. Oh my gosh, you know what? I think this letter, it's from the letter carrier. This couldn't have come at a better time. Look who's waiting. This is a mailbox, a letter box. We still have some of them. Ah, uh, she's looking, she's looking all the way down the street. There's the alley and there's the hydrant. Look what happens. Look at Arfi. He's so happy. He's got the letter in his mouth. He comes running and then look what happens. There's Arfi. There's Mrs. Whipple. Look at that. They are so happy. Both of them. Dear Mitzi, you know what? My tail has been lagging ever since I got your note. My answer is yes. Truly yours, Arfie. P.S. Wolf. Scratch, scratch. Look, so there's Mitzi. They're happy together. They found each other. Now, here's the end. Look, it's the whole neighborhood. Fire station, chop shop, yellow house. Um, the, the dump. And that scary looking house. Oh, here's like the main street. Oh, there's a gym, a library, a hair cutting place, a cafe, donuts, the butternut post office. Let me read what this says. Here's how you can help a homeless animal. Adopt a shelter animal instead of buying a pet. Volunteer at a shelter or a pet adoption event. 
spay or neuter your pet so there will be fewer fur babies to find a home for. Donate to your local animal shelter or a national animal advocacy group such as American Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals, that's the ASPCA.org, O-R-G, or the Humane Society, and they have a website, humanesociety.org. Extend a helpful paw so all our animal friends can find forever homes. Arfi, look right there. Here's about the author. Troy Cummings has written and illustrated a pile of books, including The Eensy Weensy Spider Freaks Out, Big Time, and the chapter book series, The Notebook of Doom. He has also illustrated some books written by others, such as Little Red Gliding Hood by Tara Laz Lazar. He lives in Greencastle, Indiana with his wife and kids. Yeah, this is for sure a good one. First graders. I hope you like this. Can I be, can I be your dog? I am gonna keep on reading these books, like I said, but also try, um, I'm gonna read Little House in the Big Woods in parts and sections. Try, try it out. You're getting older. You're getting older and smarter. And I promise you, one thing I've learned in life from teachers and from life itself. The better, stronger reader you are, more doors will open. And it's not just for school. Of course you need to know how to read for your education. You, know, you need to know how to read directions, instructions. You need to know how to read also for pleasure. There are so many worlds out there in books. Um, but as you get older, you transition from learning to read into reading to learn. And when you go to the next grade or middle school or high school or college, I know every one of you is gonna to go to university and college, you need to read to learn. You'll be reading history books, math books, science, social studies, it's history, English. Oh my gosh, in math, we've worked on word problems or story problems. Uh, but also when you grow up, it is amazing just to read for enjoyment. Reading is the very most important thing, I'm gonna tell you. If you can't read or you don't read well, you will struggle with everything. So keep on reading. I don't mind whatever you wanna read. And guess what? Don't worry about if you think, or if anybody says you're reading a baby book or a kindergarten book. A book's a book. When you grow up, it's not like there's uh, books for every grade level. Right now, they're something you might think is first grade books or second or third or fourth, but when you grow up, a book is a book. So keep on reading, even if you read just a little bit a day. Read to your moms and dads. Ha ask your moms and dads to read to you. Maybe you could read over um, FaceTime or Skype or something with your parents' permission to aunts and uncles or grandmas and grandpas in another place. Um, read to your stuffed animals. Reading will take you far. You can check books out of the library for free. You can buy books from a bookstore. You can borrow books from friends. There's also little free libraries in lots of neighborhoods. Um, there's online books. If you can't get a book in your hands. Uh, and guess what? You are so smart. Write your own stories. Write your own stories and share them. Write your own stories and video yourself reading, uh, reading them. Write your own stories and tell your moms and dads and grandmas, grandpas, and stepmoms and stepdads. And if you've got adopted moms and dads, write your own story, write your own story and keep on writing. Uh, miss you guys, I'm thinking about you. I'm gonna keep on reading these stories and I'm also gonna read Little little House in the Big Woods, but a different video. Um, and I'm gonna do it in parts. I hope y'all are doing well. It's Friday, April 3rd. Uh, and do something fun today. Uh, go outside, front porch, back porch, side porch. Open a window for a little while, get some fresh air. Um, 
I hope all of y'all are doing well and not too many shenanigans. I'm thinking about you. Lots of teacher love. Have a great day.